If you're one of the many who take very seriously every new spot and blemish you find on your skin, you may want to pay close attention to our next guest. With me today is Leo Wayne, the founder and president of Emerald Medical Applications, to tell us more about his amazing app, Dermacompare. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to all for me. All right, so first and foremost, tell us about the app. What does it do? The idea about the app is to help the patient to track after his skin condition, and by using his own smartphone, he can track after the skin, and by using the app, it will prevent skin cancer and will help him to track after the changes on his body to, uh, to make early detection of skin cancer. So how, how does that work then? The idea is that you can use the camera of the, of the, uh, of the smartphone, take by yourself part of the photos or, of, or ask someone to take your images. The app will guide you exactly how to take the images so you will cover the whole body. Then the system will find suspicious smalls on your skin. The idea is that skin cancer will always will start from new moles or moles that have been changed. Okay. So if you will put the finger about moles that have been changed or moles that look suspicious based on the A, B, C, D, asymmetric border color diameter, we will find the beginning of the skin cancer. So it will be a five minute surgery instead to suffer from cancer. So does it work, you know, it's kind of like social media meets healthcare, or does it work by tracking your own blemishes by taking pictures of them periodically? Actually, it's a combination of both of them. Since we are learning from the wisdom of the crowd, the idea is to first to support your, uh, your, uh, your ability to take the, uh, the images. Then we compare your moles with other moles that we already found as cancer, so we can compare, and if we will find any common patterns, we will alert that there is something suspicious. So the idea is to learn from the behavior of other physicians, other patients, and learning from a big data that we already collected. Okay, so I understand, I was reading in your website earlier, that you use defense technology in this application? Yeah. Actually, the Air Force and the <coughs> intelligence services are using aerial photos diagnostic to track after the enemy. Okay. Our enemy are suspicious moles, so we know how to find the suspicious, track after them, and prevent skin cancer by using the same, the same, not the same algorithm, it's our propriety, but to use the same idea, to track after something okay. suspicious that moved, changed, grown up, or just disappeared, the same. So, okay, so here's my next question. Why, why dermatology? Like, what prompted the focus into, into this? Actually, uh, it started a few years ago when my dad was diagnosed with uh, skin cancer. Mm. Then I realized that he, me, my brothers, my kids, we are part of a big community of uh, um, high-risk population. Then I remember that in the army we used aerial photos to track after the enemies. Then I said, okay, why not use the same uh, idea to track after enemies' moles? So was there an issue using, you know, defense technology that you were privy to while in the military? No, actually, it's our, it's it's our propriety. Yeah, yeah, everything started from the beginning. It's our IP, our propriety. And it's actually, we are, we are a public company. We are traded at the U.S. market. Ah. We just, uh, uh, we, uh, may, we, we, we became a public company something like a year ago. We are traded at the OTC market and everything. It's our IP, our propriety. And then you want, you know, you want this to be user friendly for, for the person at home or for the medical professional, both? Uh, both. If we we'll talk about track after the skin cancer, we know that we should teach the population. We should uh, press them and we should uh, support them because we know that people are not want or right. used to go to the doctors. So if you can do it at home, it will push you to go to the doctor if something will find it suspicious. So the idea is that you can download for free the app. You can use it by your own for free. If something will find it suspicious, the system will alert you. Hey, we found something suspicious. We are suggesting to go to your doctor. Mm. It's something that will push the population to take care for their own health. That's the idea. So it will serve the worldwide population. It will serve the physician because it will save them time. It will make their 
then uh, to be more accurate and more professional by using systems and machine learning and artificial intelligence to be more and more accurate with their assumptions. So, what's, so first, first my question is, what's the margin of error here? And my second question is, you know, aren't you afraid of you know, the, the WebMD doctors coming out of the woodwork and saying, you know, like, just like people are self-diagnosing all the time and hypochondria and all that? We are not going to be like Dr. Google. The idea is to be a um, support system, um, a tool that will support the physician, will never replace them, will never replace them. Because all we can say is something found is suspicious. If it's a skin cancer or other kind of skin disease, just the doctor will be able to say. Think about that if I ask you to compare between two pictures. Mm -hmm. It will take you a time to find where is Waldo. It will take you a time to find the differences between the photos. Mm -hmm. We use uh, an image process just to compare between the photos. And, that's it just, and that's it, it just tracks that's you know, any changes in the Tra image itself. Yeah, track changes, find suspicious. If something finds suspicious, we'll ask the doctor, hey, doc, what do you think about it? We are not going to repress them. We are just going to support and to be a, a helpful tool, like something that's sitting here and saying, doctor, something has been changed. Take a look. All right, so I guess my final question, this brings me to when and where will this, will this and uh, the other apps that you produce uh, be available? Actually, uh, Derma Compare is already available. Okay. You can download it for free from the uh, App Store or from the Google Store. Uh, Derma Compare. Derma Compare. And you can use it for free if something... First, it will help you to take your photos. And since it's well known that the skin cancer started from something that has been changed or a new one, so you can track by yourself. Also, you can always show it to your physician, ask him, the, ask the derm mm -hmm. or ask the uh, general practitioner if he can find something suspicious. And the idea is that you can take care for your own health. And uh, actually, we are now working to improve the, uh, <coughs> the accuracy of the system to be more and more accurate. And I believe that till the, uh, the, till the, uh, till the mid of 2017, we will achieve more than 80% accuracy with uh, prevention of skin cancer. All right, well, I hope for all of our sakes that, that you're right and that it'll be enormously successful and that people's health will be you know, priority. And thank you again so much for joining me. Thank you for inviting me.